from a small town of Hammersdale in KZN to becoming the first ever person of colour to lead South Africa's netball team to the World Cup. Mungu Msomi's career has taken a great turn. Although her netball career started by default, the WASP Centre has embraced the opportunity and still has fond memories of how her career took off. I actually started in, I think I was in grade 11, and um, when I went to training, I went to actually watch one of my neighborhood friends playing uh, for school, for, for my high school. Um, I remember there was like literally 13 of them at training, and they wanted to have like full court match, and they obviously needed one player. Um, one of them asked my coach, who is my mentor now, um, if I could join in and just help them. The Durban-born paid tribute to former coach Stembi Somnwabe, who has been very influential in her career. He has been such an amazing part of my netball journey and he's such a great person. I think I remember back then when, when I needed to pay for obviously my netball kits, my shoes and all of that, he took care of all of that because obviously at home we couldn't really afford um, to pay. But he was, he's just amazing. I think even now I still play games and people will probably say, oh, you played well, and he will say, no, I think you should have done one, two, three. And I always think he's, he knows me really well, so it's always good to have him. A Facebook message back in 2015 was the beginning of what has now become a great international career. Sorry, Storm player coach Tasmin Greenway had messaged Msomi to consider moving to the UK Netball Super League after watching her play in the Commonwealth Games in 2014. I got a uh, Facebook inbox message from one of the England um, coaches. Um, and he, she asked, she basically asked me if I could come and play for the club in England. And this was obviously when I had uh, started playing for the national side, the Spa Pro Tiers. And I think because of the games that we played internationally, um, the leagues we play, they usually get to watch games and they can see which players they want. And at that time, I had really no clue about players being taken here to go overseas. I basically thought it was probably one of those scam messages that you get on Facebook, and I ignored it for like a month or so. Then when I spoke to my coach, obviously I explained everything, and he said it's probably a real thing. The 31-year-old isn't too far ahead, saying that she appreciates being part of the national setup. Every time I get announced uh, to the squad, it's never been, um, I've never taken that for granted because I know for every athlete, it doesn't matter which sporting code, it's a huge thing to be able to represent your country. And um, with all these achievements on the side, I know everyone will think it's big to go overseas, play for international clubs, get um, individual accolades and all of that. But for me, I'll say to represent my country will always be the highlight. And even now talking to you, I'm smiling, thinking in a day or two, we're preparing to go to England for a Neville World Cup because that's exciting. Somi had no idea she will make history by becoming the first ever black person to lead the South African team at the World Cup. I didn't even know that. For me, I think it's always been about, um, I love uh, topics about empowering women. I don't stay there only for myself. I give hope to most of these girls, most of these boys um, training here and in my community as well. So it's just not about um, the color. It's more about the woman. I love being a powerful woman and making change. And I had no confidence before sports, so now I really, I'm like enjoying the bongi I've become um, through netball. She is also happy with all her achievements and career thus far. At this point, I'm really and extremely proud of what I've achieved so far, and I do respect the fact that it's not only me that has done all of this. With all the people that are behind the scenes helping me and the people that I really like desperately in each and every day work with, um, I probably should say thank you. I will one day. Her profession also requires her to stick to a strict and disciplined diet. She admits to indulging chicken now and then. I've been really lucky in not really liking the things that I shouldn't eat because I haven't been exposed to. Like, we'll talk about lots of... Um, I, I do have friends that like having a, a nice cream as a treat, and I've never liked it because I, growing up I never had it. But for me, this is funny, I love chicken wings. I love um, a chicken licking, chicken wings, and if I can have that, literally I can finish 12 plus in, a, in one go. <laughs> Somi hopes to inspire and empower women. She believes hard work and dedication remain the only way to accomplish one's goals. Sipugazi Malinga, Hammersdale.